and at Commander has his scarf on in case we get chilly playing today's game Ice Hockey for your Atari video game system, also known as the 2600. And it looks like the blue and red team got the special Activision Rainbow Power Up. Go team! Let's go ahead and take Ice Hockey, pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see if it's worth the $1.99 price. Let's go to the game! Ice Hockey was published by Activision and carries a copyright year of 1981. It was programmed by Alan Miller, who also programmed basketball for the 2600, which I reviewed in episode 265. Mr. Miller was also the co-founder of both Activision and Accolade. Since the manual doesn't have a backstory, let's make one up. In the distant future, the United Countries of North America voted to consolidate all professional sports into one single sport. And since Canada held the tiebreaker due to the Steve Eiserman Clause of 2077, ice hockey was chosen. They also chose the two most dominant and popular franchises of the past 50 years of all sports to make up the only two teams. This meant that both the Green Bay Packers and Montreal Expos would take to the ice. And since human players were banned from sports due to the Concussion Act of 2084, two modified T-1000 androids have been supplied by Skynet with the ability to morph their arms into hockey sticks, although only one player per team is allowed to do so at a time. Ice Hockey is a two-on-two -two hockey game for one or two players, and it has two basic modes of play, where the puck either moves fast or slow. You can also handicap a team by placing their difficulty switch in the A position, which will slow them down on the ice. Each player is confined to their half of the ice, and you control the one closest to the puck unless that player is knocked down. You use the joystick to move and the button to shoot on offense and check on defense. When you have the puck, it will move back and forth, just like the scanner on Kit in Knight Rider. The angle of your shot is determined by where the puck is when you shoot it. Each game lasts for three minutes and there is no overtime and games can end in ties. Like several other Activision games, you could send in for a patch if you met a certain goal. But this was a rather easy goal, simply being the computer in the basic game one variation. And rather than sending in a picture of your score, you were supposed to send Activision a letter stating the score of the game and having a friend co-sign the letter stating they witnessed your amazing feat. Doing so could net you the all-star hockey team patch. Graphically speaking, the game is very basic, as are the sounds, and it is a family-friendly game. At the time I researched on eBay, loose copies were going for $4 to $5, complete copies were selling for $8 to $14, and one new copy sold for $18, including shipping. So what did I think of ice hockey? Well, just like Mr. Miller's basketball for the 2600, it is simple and fun. Both games limited the number of players on screen. Basketball had only two, while ice hockey had four. And both games used a constantly moving aiming mechanic, where basketball had the player raising and lowering the ball while getting ready to shoot and ice hockey has the puck moving back and forth on a stick. But for some reason, this just translates better to ice hockey. I found it an incredible amount of fun. When I first played the game, it did take a while for me to learn how to beat the computer. But even once I had it down to the point of beating the computer on a regular basis, I still enjoyed playing the game. And I liked playing it both with the fast and slow puck. I also like how it plays like a precursor to one of my favorite game series, NHL Hockey on the Sega Genesis. So where am I going to rank Ice Hockey? I like it so much it's going into the top 10, and it's actually going to be really close to the previously reviewed Yars Revenge at 3, and since I like Yars just a smidgen more, Ice Hockey is skating into the 4 position. Ice Hockey is highly recommended and might be my favorite sport game on the 2600. So what do you think of Ice Hockey? Whether you agree or disagree with me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also, feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash nosergamer for more information. You can also follow me both on Facebook or Twitter, and I'm a member of the Retro Junkies Network. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day. I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and keep your stick on the ice.